I'm Jen, your local New York City guide, and this is the fastest video to the quickest and cheapest way to get from New York International Airport to Midtown Manhattan without making the number one mistake that most visitors make. Trust me, I've lived in New Jersey, so I know all of this transportation way too well. I've tried everything, and this is the fastest, cheapest way. So don't forget to subscribe and check out down below. I have a link to my blog post, including a link to wherever you are, directions to New York International Airport. It's that easy, I know. You're welcome. Okay, so let's go. Even though Newark Airport is in New Jersey, just across the water, I actually love flying through it because it's a little bit less crowded and flights are often a little bit cheaper through Newark Airport. I recommend taking two easy steps to get to Manhattan the free air train, and then NJ Transit to New York Penn Station, which takes about 30 to 45 minutes. It's that quick. Optional step three depends on where you are staying. If you are not staying near Penn Station, 34th Street, or Midtown, then you will likely need to take a subway to your hotel or a car if that's easier with your bags. Okay, let's break it down. First, you follow signs for the air train. It runs 24 hours a day. Ride it past Terminal B and C to the train station's NJ Transit transfer point. It is free if you are traveling within the airport. If you do not take NJ Transit, it technically costs $5.50, which is already included in the price of the $13 NJ Transit ticket you purchase when exiting. You will have to show your ticket twice at the turnstile and the train, so don't lose it. Once you exit, you will see blue and orange machines where you can purchase your NJ Transit tickets for $13 per adult one way. You can purchase a ticket on the machine or on your phone. You can buy a paper ticket at the machines by clicking NJ Transit Rail, New York Penn Station, One Way Adult, and then selecting your payment method. If you're not from the USA and you pay with credit card, put your zip code as 99999. That's five nines. Or if you have time, you can download the NJ Transit app. I already have the app downloaded on my phone where I put in my credit card information and purchase my tickets. Just don't forget to activate your ticket right before boarding the train. NJ Transit runs 21 hours a day. Note, it does not run between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. NJ Transit trains are scheduled to arrive at least every 15, if not 10 minutes, depending on the time of day. The biggest mistake people constantly make on NJ Transit is getting off at the wrong stop. I have had to tell so many people, don't get off here, this is not New York. There is actually a stop called Newark Penn Station in New Jersey before the final stop, New York Penn Station. They sound very similar on the loudspeaker, so pay attention and do not get off early at the Newark Penn Station. Get off at New York Penn Station. Fun fact, there are multiple Penn Station stops in the Northeast because this used to be where the Pennsylvania Railroad went through and if multiple trains went through a stop, it was called Union Station. That's why there's also many Union Stations. The air train to NJ Transit is definitely the cheapest and fastest route, but FYI, a cab or car service can cost between $50 to $100, which can be convenient if you have a large group and a lot of heavy bags. There are also buses, but any of these driving options often take longer, between 45 minutes to an hour, so you need to give yourself time if there is traffic. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jen, your local New York City guide, and I have a ton more videos on the New York City subway, what to eat, other airports, everything you can imagine. So just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, say yes to new adventures, and I'll see you next time. Bye.